Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to my science class. Today's topic is Unit Seven, Magnets. Okay, this is the new topic. Okay. Hello and welcome back to my science lesson with me, Teacher Aida. Now let's watch this video. Have you ever tried this game before? It's a fishing game. How do you catch the fish? Okay, there are fishing rods and then there are fish. So, how you catch the fish using the fishing rod? Alright, install the battery first. And then put back all the fish inside this place. And then catch the fish using the fishing rod. There is a magnet attached to the fishing rod and then there is a steel attached to the fish. Okay, ada besi dekat fish tu. Okay, so the steel will attract to the magnet. Okay, the steel on the mouth of the fish. Okay, dekat mouth fish tu ada steel. So, the 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 fish will attract to the magnet okay magnet ada dekat fishing rod too right that is how you catch the fish all right let's look at other example on the use of magnets okay the uses of magnets okay it's a refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator has the door of the refrigerator has magnets. Okay, the pintu dia ada magnet. Okay, the refrigerator is made of steel. Okay, so the steel will be attracted to the magnet. Okay, that is why. Okay, that is why the mag the the door will close tightly okay the door of the refrigerator will close tightly because of the magnet and then let's, let's look at this video it's a name tag okay hmm. there is a magnet attached to the name tag okay that is why uh, it can hold the name tag. Okay, the name tag. And then this is a pencil case. Okay. If you look at the pencil case, there is a magnet attached to the pencil case. So, the steel will be attracted to the magnet, so the pencil case will close tightly. Okay, akan tertutup. Okay, because there is a magnet. Okay, this is a screwdriver. Okay, the iron, okay, the iron screw 
will be attracted to the magnet okay so the screw will be hold by the screwdriver okay so it won't fall okay it doesn't fall because it hold by the magnet what are other examples of the use of magnets around you can you think any other examples these are some of examples on the use of magnets okay the memo that can stick okay the memo magnet that can stick your memo on the refrigerator okay the chessboard and then the purse okay now let's we learn on the shapes of magnets okay there are many shapes of magnets okay the first one is bar magnet bar magnet okay this is a cylinder magnet cylinder magnet horseshoe magnet horseshoe magnet u shape magnet u shape magnet button magnet okay button magnet and ring magnet okay ring magnet okay there are six shapes of magnets that you can learn in uh, this topic okay you also can refer to your textbooks page 62 63 and 64 thank you for listening and watching and watching my video if you have any questions do let me know okay Good luck until we meet again on our next lesson. Bye-bye.